For today's video, we are going to talk about releasing emotional patterns and one of the things that I have loved is using Carolyn Mines' Releasing Emotional Patterns Using Essential Oils book. Um, it's got a lot of charts in here, it's got a lot of useful information, ways that you can target things specifically by the emotion or by an essential oil that you really respond to or even an alarm point on your body where something maybe is hurting or not feeling comfortable and you can go and look up that body part and see, oh, maybe there's an emotional tie that connects with that. So it's really interesting stuff. Um, so I'm not gonna go into the, um, I, I'd covered in the podcast, if you have not listened to podcast number five where we talk about the science behind releasing emotions, that's gonna get into things like um, the, the emotions that are locked even in your DNA that can be passed on through generations and rerouting emotional, uh, I'm sorry, neuropathways in your brain. All of that stuff is covered in the podcast. So that is something that if you have not watched that yet, go watch that first, then come back here. But um, so we're going to use Carolyn Mind's book and I'm going to show you the method that I use when I'm trying to help somebody release an emotion. So one thing. I start with this little worksheet here, and it is Creatively Clearing Emotions Technique with Affirmations and Young Living Essential Oils. So one thing you're gonna see here is um, you're going to see that you say each of these sections three times, okay? So this is gonna be one part in Carolyn Mind's book. When you look up a particular emotion, um, let's just say yours is worthlessness or, st or struggling with the feeling of worthlessness. You can go and look up an emotional reference and that's what these charts are. So it shows you the emotion, then it shows you the other side or the opposite emotion, then it shows you the way out, and then it also pairs an oil and a part of your body where you can apply that oil. Now another way, if you do not feel comfortable applying oils to certain places on your body, it kind of goes with reflexology. That's why it's being done that way. But one other way, if you just want to tie the scent memory, basically what we're doing is um, your body processes emotions in the same place that it processes smells, which is the limbic system in your brain with the amygdala. That's where all of those things live. And so um, basically what you're doing is no different than if you smell apple pie baking and immediately you think back to baking pie with grandma, that's a scent memory. So what you're doing is you're tying a scent memory using this essential oil to an emotion. So if you don't want to use a specific alarm point on your body to apply an oil to, one thing you can do is just breathe in the oil and then place your hand over your heart and over your forehead, okay? So we're gonna be channeling through our mind and our heart, okay? So that's another way. I, I prefer that method to me that feels just a little bit more emotional centric than you know necessarily um, body centric, but that's, that's just me. And so you do you, do you boo boo. I'm gonna quote my friend Kayla on that one. But so as we go through this worksheet, and if you need a copy of this worksheet, um, my husband put it on our website, so go to freedominabottle.com, no spaces, freedominabottle.com, and you can get this PDF right here, okay, and print it out so that you can clear some emotions. But basically, let's say that you struggle with worthless feelings. I will tell you that's something that I have struggled with myself, and so that actually, I filled out my own worksheet, and so I will go through and tell you kind of how I do my um, releasing emotional patterns at the end. But so what you would do is you would look up on the emotions chart the feeling of worthlessness. So the worthless feeling, the other side is approval, the way out is I am valuable, the oil is frankincense, and the alarm point is the gums or teeth. And if you look on your body charts in the book, that's like right in here. So <clears throat> the, um, the steps you would go through is you would go through that chart and you would put the emotion in the top section, you would put the other side in the middle section, and then you would put the way out here at the bottom. So I'm going to show you an example of how that would look with the sheet that I filled out for myself. 
we are gonna say each section three times, okay? I choose to release the trauma behind the trapped emotion of worthlessness that no longer serves me in a positive and productive way. I choose to release all trauma associated with worthlessness from the time of my conception until now. I choose to release the trauma behind the trapped emotion of worthlessness that no longer serves me in a positive and productive way. I choose to release all trauma associated with worthlessness from the time of my conception until now. I choose to release the trauma behind the trapped emotion of worthlessness that no longer serves me in a positive and productive way. I choose to release all trauma associated with worthlessness from the time of my conception until now. Now the next step. Use the Releasing Emotional Patterns with Essential Oils book by Carolyn L. Mine and under the column Other Side, say three times. I choose approval. I choose approval. I choose approval. And now under the column The Way Out, I choose to know that I am valuable. I manifest that I am valuable. I believe that I am valuable. I am valuable. I choose to know that I am valuable. I manifest that I am valuable. I believe that I am valuable. I am valuable. I choose to know that I am valuable. I manifest that I am valuable. I believe that I am valuable. I am valuable. Now, why do we say that three times? That is the rerouting of those neuropathways. If you have been beating yourself up with feelings of worthlessness for a long time, it's going to take several repetitions of changing that mindset. So that's what we're doing here. So we tie with frankincense being that oil. One way I choose to do it is I put a drop of frankincense in my palm and then I breathe in and then put my hand over my forehead, put my hand over my heart, and then I go through that worksheet. And so that helps us. The oil, I like to say it this way, the oil works like a tumbler on a lock. That's going to unlock the door. Now, using this methodology, we are going to reroute those neural pathways, and that's putting us on a new path. That's choosing to walk through the door. But where is that leading to? And this is where a lot of people stop. They just get themselves free from the emotions. But to me, I want to be more than just free. I want to be more than just out of that emotional darkness. I want to have a destination. So now the next step <coughs> is we are going to instead go into the presence of God. So how do we do that? Well, the Bible says we can enter his gates with thanksgiving in our hearts and we can enter his courts with praise. So that means that when I praise God, I'm in his courts. So what I like to do is I like to pair a praise song that goes with the emotion that I'm trying to release. So in this case, um, I chose from Hillsong Worship, Who You Say I Am. You can't be worthless if you are looking at yourself through the eyes of God. So who you say I am means I'm a child of the Most High God. That makes me a princess, and a princess isn't worthless. They sparkle. So um, that is another um, step that I like to do in that process when I'm working with somebody on releasing emotions. And then the final step that I like to do that's a little different from the methodology that I've seen done elsewhere is you have to think about this. We don't get into this state of negative emotions and filling our heads up with this nonsense that we have no worth and value without a little help from the enemy. He is really good. His talent is trying to break you down and steal your joy. So if that's the case, how do we defend against that? Well, if you listen to podcast number three, I believe it was, we went over the armor of God. If you notice something about the armor that God has given us, Every piece of armor is defensive, except for one. The one piece of your armor that is offensive and is meant to take out the devil and kick his booty 
is the sword of the spirit. It is the very word of God sharper than any two-edged sword. So what does that mean? That means that we need to hide God's word in our heart. We need to memorize scripture so that then we can pull that out of our back pocket like this, you know, collapsible sword (laughs) that we can then start taking the devil to task. So what I like to do when I'm releasing emotional patterns with somebody is I like to then go and find a Bible verse that goes with that emotion they're feeling. So the one that I chose is Ephesians 2.10. For we know we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. And then God gave me a little revelation about that. He said, I would not make a plan for someone with no value. So the next time Satan is trying to come against you with all of those ugly thoughts and emotions, you tell him who's boss and you tell him who your king is and God will fight for you. So that's the way that I like to release emotions using essential oils. And if, like I said, if you need a copy of this PDF so that you can, um, start working on releasing those emotions that is going to be on our website freedominabottle.com you can get a copy of carolyn mine's book on amazon i believe they're around 15 dollars totally worth it it is going to be worth that many times over so now one other thing that i want to show you that young living has is a feelings kit you will see a lot of the feelings oils pop up in this book. So if you start looking at some of the oils that have the most applications for getting rid of negative emotions, it's going to be the oils here in the feelings kit. So one thing, so the, the feelings kit comes with forgiveness, harmony, inner child, present time, release, and valor. These are some amazing oils, y'all, and they are very, very powerful. Now, one thing that I wanna tell you, if you ever get your oils as a collection, you will save money. And especially if you get them on Essential Rewards, which is that monthly auto ship program that Young Living has, where you get points back and free items, depending on how much you spend, you're gonna get free products and you're gonna get points and you're gonna save money instead of buying each of these oils piecemeal instead of buying them as a collection. I wanna say it was like a 60 or $80 savings, but don't quote me, you'll have to go do that math. But um, I did go and add up the different cost of the different oils and it was a significant savings and then to add points and then to add free products on top of that, you're talking about a no-brainer right there. Now, my upline, Melody, uh, gave me this a while back. It's a feelings kit protocol, and I'm going to read it out to you really quickly so that if you do decide to get this this feelings kit and you want to do something different than the Carolyn Mind method, you can go ahead and try this feelings kit protocol. Step one, apply valor to the bottoms of your feet to help balance your feelings. The affirmation that you say is, I am ready to transform my life, or I am confident and secure in who I am, Father, because of who you say I am. Step two, apply harmony on the energy points of the body to release unpleasant energies. The affirmation is I am one with all, one with you and those around me. Step three, apply forgiveness clockwise on the navel and let go of the negative emotions. Affirmation, I forgive and put the name of the person you're forgiving for any harm or hurt that you have caused me. I am thankful for life's experiences and all you, God, are teaching me. Or, I forgive myself for past mistakes. Or, I learn from all of life's experiences. Step four, apply release over the front and the back of the liver in a circular motion. Your liver is your upper right-hand area right here under your ribs, okay? The affirmation is I release all negativity from my body with with your help, Lord, or I replace all negative feelings with love and joy you give me. Step five, apply present time to the wrists and behind your ears. And the affirmation is, I let go of my past with your power, Father God, or 
I experience the joy of the present because I am in Christ. Step six, apply inner child under your nose. <laughs> the affirmation, I am ready to face my inner child or my authentic self is enough because Lord, you have created me wonderfully. In step seven, we're going to apply valor again and we're going to, uh, have, so I believe you apply it to the same place, which is the bottoms of your feet to balance your feelings. And the affirmation is, I come from my strength, Lord, because you are strength. So I can um, ask my husband to put this on our website as well. And um, But yes, those are two methods of actually getting those negative emotions out. But let's be honest, you are not going to be as effective as you could be if you are emotionally congested and constantly in your head with all of the negativity that's there. So let's get those emotions out and let's start living in a little bit more peace so that we can be more effective when we share and love on others. Mm -hmm.